front runners for the LCK spring title. Not much synergy between the two. We caught the back end of this one here. Watch the dodge. Boop. <laughs> Faker always, See you later. Faker always on point with those step backs. You think of his famous Wait, one on the river. Stand beside me to be used to actually give him an escape when his flash was down. So finally a successful pick. Even though it's only Tucson, SKT have to start the Baron. But there's a nice cheeky ward here that does give them extra information. Well, I don't know whether there is enough information actually. Especially it's if it's a two-man. If they can just two-man this all the way down, it is actually out of vision of the ward. Yeah, and Blossom seems to be able to tank this up they for long enough. They yeah, know it now. Now they're going to be able to find it, but it's all too late. It's going to be taken out. SKT with a beautiful bubble flies through here. Jin Air are going to see what's going on, but it's down so low. Baron just taken. Grace, I think, finds a bubble in there as Omti starts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see you later. Guys, still no more kills. Baron goes down. Smite Rend here. MT, though, getting low. They might lose their smite in this fight. It's going to be all up to Rend. And see you later. Nidalee is going to be taken out. But the Underdrake does go over to Jin Air. But it's mostly just going to be used to take down. But look at this. Teddy in the front lines trying to take down member after member. Double kill. And the Zac passive is going to be on the cards here. Triple kill given over to Teddy. He's not done yet. The Quadra. He's looking for the Penta. Not going to go for it. They want to push the mid lane, but so much room for Teddy. Killing the Jinnet Green Wings Nexus. <laughs> they want to do it. They're going to Realm Warp in. They're just going to attack the Nexus. Can they do it, though? The 5 man Shockwave. They're trying to keep it alive, but Utara is going to get it in the back. 37 minutes. They get the win that this they were looking for. This is once again ambition. He just does it again. He tries to go in there. He's going to be locked down, but Max is going to be destroyed by Ruler. Corte Day makes it out of there as well. Re this time, Ruler has so much room, but they're going to take out Crown. They're going to win. Pilot in the back line is just mowing them down. A triple kill for this Caitlyn, and they're looking for more. The Quadra, he wants the Penta. Can he get it? He's going to snipe him down, but oh! no, it's not the Penta. Somehow the most anticlimactic non-Penta. It doesn't matter, though, because MVP are going to take the victory. They can he still get the Penta. Get it. They're trying to lock him down. Can they are they going to die do? for him? They're That's thinking right. about it. They're trying. ADD, he's got to go forward. He's got to be the man. There it is. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he gets the Penta. Penta kill. It's just unlocked Indra downable. Probably. Well, he is able to use the hook shot to get him his way out, but Blossom's going to be able to close a lot of distance. No knock up. He's going to come down they as he really flashes want forward, this? wants to bonk their heads. There's the Empress Divide, smashes them into the wall as Faker is angry at that last kill. That's just tanking the turret. Yeah, Mighty Bear's going to go down. Double kill now for the Emperor of Shirima. Can they make it a triple? No, they can't because Antara. It took 40 minutes, but the rumors were true. <laughs> they did to make the a game. siege comp. It's the post 45 minute siege comp. They can just win the game here. Well, they're just going to keep walking up. Can anyone actually stop Teddy from auto-attacking structures? BDD gets his health back. Pray, 29 seconds. The second Nexus turret is going down. Is it going to be Jin Air that break the win streak with a four-kill game at 46 minutes? The Orn Ultimate comes down. King Zone so extraordinarily low. The Nexus is now exposed. The Jin Air Green Wings, could they do it? The Gnar backwards. Umpty's just trying to create space to get the auto-attacks in there, but so no, what? it's a triple kill coming in. Can they get the autos though? Lick it to death, Wraith. Lick it to death. No, they're not going to be able to do it. It's a quadra kill for BDD, and they hold on to their nexus. What is happening on this opposite day? Do they just lose now? Yes, I think they do. We've got the teleport to come in from Khan. I think maybe Blossom gonna... didn't adjust and died. There's no getting out. We just watch him walk away. No swag walks for that, Jarvan. Awkward stuff here. Blossom K. I even guarantee the kill onto Zoe. Meanwhile, he almost got out. But the question is, will Faker get out? Doesn't have that. He's got Wolf, though. Nice delay. Headbutt is trying to save his life here, though. The what last thing plan gets Faker away. But Aww. what will it mean for Wolf? He's going 1v4, but he is an Alistair. So he will get spire, away. Because usually, if you want to gank, you don't show yourself on the spires. Seeing a stun, but no impale yet. Look at this team. Really deep. deep. It is so deep. That's going to be the rise from behind. The rocket jump is down here, but Keen, in a little bit of trouble, is actually going to realm warp back to his team. We got Kube in here, too. Tons of damage going towards Afrika, but they're looking to drop it down here, and Bishing going to grab up Keen. But there's no follow up, and they take him out. Five on five. It looks like Afrika is going to win another fight. That's they're looking diving. for a kill, a double kill for the rise and ticking damage on the crown. Every 
everyone else gonna back out and another jump Q aside, but Blossom was looking for the combo. They need to wait for the no TP on, on Qve or Crown. Okay, and here we go. Galio making his way in. Nice dodge by Ruler, but it's four on two now with Cosmic Radiance. That's gonna be enough to get one. Can they get two? The flash comes in from Core JJ. Baker wants a little bit more, but there it comes in. And now Qve is gonna TP down on the bottom lane. But again, four on one, and he's all alone under turret. Should not matter. One knock up into the damage. Just a little bit more will do it. It's kind of funny to watch the Galio and the Jarvan and the Tarek trying to get alive. damage, but they cannot kill him. Baker's still trying to get on top of him. A double taunt, and finally they do it. Takes long Pushing enough. Like a gun. Oh, oh Gorilla could die here. here. Actually being thrown out. The Unbreakable's there. They're going to get a kill. No, they're not. I take it all back. Paddle Star. Finally comes in, first blood at 40 freaking minutes in the game. It was 39 on the dot, but someone had to go down. It's Gorilla. Watch, might have been silence. I missed that on the tape. We'd have to watch the replay on backing in a very aggressive spot. Mata wasn't able to spare that, and now... Oh, pretty good positioning there from Peanut as Deft has to flash. We're not going to get the Stretch Armstrong to land onto the Callista, but Prey's happy to just stand underneath the turret. They wanted to utilize, oh my god, Deft with the outplay. No opportunity for Prey as he picked Hard up thing to do, but Oh, now, look at that. Well, it's four members against Faker. <laughs> you guys should know the answer to that. Very long range trouble bubble. Sure, some people triggered in chat, something about 0 0.25. Not sure yeah. that's a reference to, but. <laughs> Look at the score to 0 0.25. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's perfect, it's too good. There to be go. one. Even though Kingzone were able to delay, the gold lead was never there. This ended up being a surprising victory for BBQ, but recreating it. Also picking up a 2 0 or 2 1 victory, being a second game win off of Kingzone. That's going to be hard to do. Yeah, that would be damn impressive. This is the deletion onto Gorilla. Even the Tarek wasn't safe. We'll get another angle of it. And no, we won't. Briefly and then very swiftly cut away from it. Censored, guys. Lava still low. Emperor's Mind comes in, catches two of them, and that's going to be Song Yun going down. A nice start, and maybe Jin Air could do it all over again. Lava will fall, but not before he can trade back in onto Grace Key. Dashing around will get taken Teddy. down by Teddy, who barely stays alive. Linderong trying to get the kill, but he just can't make it happen. Teddy trying to kite him out, gets popped up. The Dazzle not going to connect, and Teddy gets a quadra kill. Teddy turns it around. Is it too late? Your first thought is yes. Every With game, like, uh, like you are, Papa Smithy. Oh, Peanut. Great opportunities. Is, yeah, there's an isolated Azir, He's just and Peanut does so much damage. Yeah, I think that he should be able to get the oh. leap. Oh, cute little crossover nice flashes. And Peanut is not going to be able alive. to find that kill. The Sand Soldiers turn it around. Just as you mentioned, he'd been spamming the Azir. Damn, that looked cool, calm, and collected. He and first in. place. I hold the point. Yeah, ADD in a bit of trouble here. He is a tanky Watch for that passive, oh, though. He's oh, trying to look away. Oh, the drifting oh. from the Scion. Can he get away? I think he might be able to. No, no, no. no. Oh, we got, hard, we got the Azir coming in. Maybe some magic where he can oh. get executed, though. He's going to use the blasting plants and try to get executed here on the turn. Oh, he's, he's going for it. He's getting out of here. How Haru, though. The ult. Oh! oh. oh. ADD gets out. What a beast! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the replay oh, from another a angle. Different angle. This is the reverse angle. Look at Max. We can see him clearly. Beyond how far do you get into the wall from this side? Whoa. Actually, not far at all. Hang on, there he is. Whoa! Everything's happening. It's a big Look at Kalio. He seems very. Really, he seems very like. He's super psyched about being <laughs> in, in the kidnap. He definitely wanted to be kidnapped by. Yeah. Him. Oh yeah. And then he got bounced backwards. And then what, what happened there? The ghost of Zack was in the wall. <laughs> that was some Ghostbuster stuff. There was some weird stuff going on. Do you know what actually happened, though? Have you played that? Is it, there's a game that you used to play as kids.